Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 16th of 2022. Well, it is titled Bard Spiral Galaxy NGC 1300. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy and spiral galaxies come in two types. We call those normal spiral galaxies and barred spiral galaxies. And this is an example of the latter, which is a barred spiral galaxy. In a what we call a normal spiral galaxy, the spiral arms appear to wind all the way down to the center. Whereas in a, spiral, a barred spiral galaxy, they appear to come off a bar that goes through the central regions of the galaxy. And that's what we're seeing here. You note how it's very elongated and stretched out from uh, the upper left to the lower right. And that would be the bar of this central galaxy. Now, while we call them normal spiral galaxies and barred spiral galaxies, it turns out that barred spiral galaxies actually may be even more common than what we call a normal spiral galaxy. So these are actually quite common. And in fact, our own Milky Way is believed to be an example of a barred spiral. Now here we can see the rest of the uh, properties associated with a spiral galaxy, which include the blue uh, star clouds within the spiral arms and the reddish glow from hydrogen gas that we see the pinker glow that we see in some of the regions from very large hydrogen star forming regions things similar to our Orion Nebula only on a much larger scale for us to be able to see them in a galaxy 70 million light years away. The blue stars are relatively young because those blue stars don't live for a very long time. If they only live for tens of millions of years, we know that they had to have formed within the last few tens of millions of years. So we know that they could not have been there for a long time because these stars would have evolved and gone through their lives and we would no longer see them. And what that means is that stars are uh, currently forming within a galaxy like this and other spiral galaxies such as our own Milky Way and in order for stars to continuously form uh, means that we will see blue stars older galaxies and older regions within this galaxy such as those towards the center don't show those telltale signs of recent star formation. So we can look at a galaxy and get an idea of how active it has been with star formation over the recent past. So that was a picture our picture of the day for October 16th of 2022. It was titled Bard Spiral Galaxy NGC 1300. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be burst rings. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.